Hey everyone, Drew with GeoArm, and I am back to talk to you about the 2GIG GC2E and how to get it wired for power. Now, this device is, uh, is a little different because it has a face plate and then you have to actually remove it from the, its back plate as well in order to get it open. So what we're gonna do here is I'll show you how to get this thing opened up. So what you're gonna do is there's a little corner. You just kind of get underneath that corner like so, right there, and then pull it apart. Okay, now our face plate has been taken off. Now, we need to get these two screws here taken off. So this one and this one. So, you need a flathead screwdriver. There are spring-loaded screws, so you just kind of back them out here, and then they kind of let the tension loose a little bit so that the face plate kind of snaps off a little bit, as you can see. Now, you take the flathead screwdriver, and you're gonna go right into the top of the actual touchscreen itself. Just pull it towards you, and these little tabs that have screwdrivers marked on them. Now, once you've done that, you just take it, and you're gonna open it up. Okay, we're gonna take our back plate, we're gonna put it down here. Now, we'll look at the inside of the actual 2 gig GC2E system itself here. Pull this out of the way. So, as you can see right here, we have our backup battery and where our backup battery actually makes its connection. So you're just gonna go ahead and slide that in there. And once that's connected, we're gonna move on to getting it wired for power. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this thing down on my nice, soft mat so as to not scratch the screen and you are going to need a strip of 22 20 or 18 gauge two conductor wire any strip um, but it does not come with it so you will need to provide it uh, so i'm going to go ahead and get this fed in through the back plate here like so so that way we have it fed and ready to rock okay so now keep that out of the way you are gonna take the black wire. We're gonna be wiring it all the way down into what's called V minus, which is right down here. Get that black wire in there, then get it tightened down, and that's V negative or V minus is where the black wire here is going. Okay, then we're gonna take the red wire, and that is gonna to go to V plus or V positive, which is our positive power output here. And polarity does matter, that's why they're labeled uh, positive and negative in this case. Um, okay, after we've got that done, this thing is ready to be wired to its power supply as we've plugged the battery in and gotten all that done. So we'll go ahead and we'll get this device closed up and ready. Pull that wire through as to keep it tight. All right. So just like that, then we snap it in. After that, you're gonna get your screws put in place here just like so, okay. All right, and after that's done, we'll put the front plate back on. Okay, we now have our front plate mounted to the device, okay. Now, we'll get the actual power supply itself wired. So, we have our red and black connections on our 22 gauge two conductor wire. This is uh, a DC power supply, so polarity does matter. So we're gonna take the red wire, and of course that's gonna be going to plus here, right over here, as you can see. Okay, after you've got that in, you just go ahead and you tighten it down. Okay. Okay, we've got our connection made there. Now we do the same thing with the negative connection. down here all right we have our connections made now we can go ahead and get it applied for power I think I actually put it in a little bit too much here get it like that. perfect okay now we'll go ahead and apply the power now when you apply this power it does take a few moments for the screen to actually kick on but you'll hear it beep so let's make sure we're getting power here It is getting power, so we're just waiting for it to kick the screen on now. And there it is. Ladies and gentlemen, this is how you power the 2GIG GC2E. If you have any questions or any comments, please leave them below. You guys take care and have a great day. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube page.
and click the show more tab underneath the video where you can view valuable links pertaining to this product, similar how-to videos, and our low-cost, no-contract alarm monitoring services.